Number four, integrated concepts, great. Singly charged gas ions are accelerated from rest through a voltage of 13 volts. At what temperature will the average kinetic energy of the gas molecules be the same as that given these ions? All right, so first thing is just start with the question. They're talking about temperature and average kinetic energy. So you have to remember the relationship between the two, mathematically that is. So the relationship is this, that the average kinetic energy this goes back to one of the prior chapters. I don't remember which one it is in this particular textbook, but it might be chapter 13, I don't know, probably about kinetic theory. Okay, one of those. Anyway, so average kinetic energy is about three halves times the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature. Okay, remember the temperature's in Kelvin. Boltzmann constant is about 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. So I know that, you know, basically I'm trying to find for, I'm trying to solve this for temperature. So why don't we just algebraically manipulate this to do so? So multiply both sides by two thirds, right, to cancel out the three halves. So this could be two over three now on that side. That goes bye bye. And then just divide out the Boltzmann constant. So bring it on down over there. And that's it. There's your equation now. See, just kind of just moving, moving some stuff around. And that's all. That bar represents average kinetic energy. I'm just going to get rid of it because uh, I don't know. I don't like it. And there we go. All right. So now, <laughs> you guys are probably like, what is wrong with this guy? By the way, that stuff, just a joke, all right? I'm not really that, maybe I am, I don't know. Anyway, so what do we now need to do? We now need to find the kinetic energy then that was associated with these uh, gas ions, okay? So now, how do we do that? Well, we realize that it says singly charged gas ions. It doesn't say positive or negative, but it says singly, meaning either it was a net positive one or net negative one, not net negative two or positive two, but singly charged. So pretend we are dealing with then a simple electron, okay? Pretend we got some negativity over here, we got some positivity over here, and we're gonna put an electron in this particular environment. What's gonna happen? Electron's gonna accelerate to the right, right? Repelled from the negative, so it's pushed away. From the negative it's also then attracted to the positive so it's then pulled that way okay now um, basically now there exists a potential difference between these two points and the potential difference between those two points is as mentioned 13 volts 13.0 v okay that's what voltage is all about so now the question is how is voltage then related to one of these th obviously it's not related to Boltzmann concept per se right it's going to be related to then the kinetic energy how is it related to the kinetic energy we'll just think in energy in general how is voltage related to energy? Oh, right, right, right. That a formula over there in the middle, in the middle, right? At the, at the bottom there. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Change in voltage is then going to be equal to the change in the potential energy of the object, all then divided by the charge of that particular object. Now remember that it says the object here will be accelerated from rest. So at the beginning, it's going to have all potential energy, and then as it begins to move, what happens to the potential energy? It goes down, and the kinetic energy will rise, right? So basically, that's the key to the problem. Knowing that whatever the kinetic energy is in this equation came from the potential energy at the start of the problem, okay? So now, the voltage, therefore, was 13 volts. The potential energy is what I can solve for, right? All over Q. And what's Q, by the way? It said singly charged. Did it tell us what it was, positive or negative? No. But guess what? The, guess what? It doesn't matter because they're both the same magnitude, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Coulombs. Whether it's negative or positive, who cares? We're basically just taking absolute values here. So 13 times and 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And there we go. Right? Change of the potential energy, therefore, is going to be equal to 2.08 times 10 to the negative 18. So it started with, ba and that's in terms of joules. So basically started with this amount of potential energy. As the electron or whatever the heck it is, is accelerated, all right, uh, to then reach its maximum speed, meaning maximum kinetic energy, all that potential energy was therefore then converted into kinetic. So that's kind of why they're equal. So what I now realize is I do know the kinetic energy, okay? So it's basically now two-thirds multiplied then by that 2.08 times 10 to the minus 18th to the minus 18th, and then divide it by the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. 
and that's going to be equal to t. Remember the t's in Kelvin. Okay, so take that value, multiply it by two thirds, and then divide it by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. So this works out to be about woo doggy 1.00 or so times 10 to the 345 Kelvin. Ooh, that's hot. That is hot. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out. Subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next problem. Be well.